Monica Belmont from Holla Daily. You've probably heard of ethanol and other alternative fuel sources, but have you ever actually seen it in action? We are here in Brentwood, California at Conserve Fuel to learn a little bit more. I'm joined by Clay from GM. Yes. So this is a whole new concept of gas station. Tell me about the fuel that you have here. The fuel we have here is E85 ethanol, which is a renewable fuel um, domestically produced. And there's a lot of positive benefits here because you're basically not running a petroleum-based fuel now. It's only 15% gasoline, but 85% ethanol. Is this yeah. going to be more uh, expensive, or is it going to be cheaper for people, or how does that work? Well, typically, you see the price of ethanol or E85 fuel offered at stations to be less than gasoline. Right now, the price of ethanol at this particular site is $2.99 a gallon, where their uh, gasoline price is at $3.33 a gallon. So I'm seeing a lot of Suburbans and a lot of very large cars here. What kind of cars work with that fuel? Well, a variety of cars. Uh, you'll see anywhere from sedans to full-size SUVs like what you saw. General Motors is the largest producer of flex fuel vehicles, and we probably have over 400,000 vehicles a year that we produce and put out in the marketplace. We have over two, 2 million vehicles out on the roads right now that can operate on this fuel. Do you see a lot of other manufacturers kind of picking up on this trend and making cars that are able to use ethanol? Yeah, in fact, uh, the Actually, there's been an announcement that uh, a lot of the manufacturers have announced by 2012, 50% of their product portfolio to be flex fuel also, along with General Motors products. So, yeah, you're going to see more and more of these flex fuel vehicles being offered. How was your experience using this fuel pump today? Well, it's been a quite experience. I've been waiting because the price is very good, but I think it's worth it. It's cleaner, safer for the environment for the air we breathe, so pretty much safer for every, everything and everybody. As a nation, do things a little bit differently. You know, if this will help out a little bit, then I'm willing to do it, you know, do my part, and we'll see what happens. How many different locations do you have open now, and how many do you plan to have, uh, I don't know, by the end of the year? Well, in California, we're talking right now, there's only three retail stations that serve E85 ethanol. There's some private sites, but primarily there's three retail stations. Uh, the plan is that there's some uh, state funds that are available for station owners, and they're hoping to have maybe 30, up to 33 stations in the next year, year and a half, in place in California. And where does ethanol come from? I know it's alcohol, but... It's an alcohol-based fuel. Um, it's currently, uh, much of the feedstock is a corn-based feedstock. Uh, they're us utilizing corn as the feedstock, but in the future, our hopes at General Motors is that uh, we, we go to other cellulosic type feedstocks and get us away from uh, corn as, a feed, as, a, as the feedstock itself. We've actually entered agreement uh, with Coscata to produce uh, cellulosic ethanol, and that can be based off of any carbon-based type uh, you know, fuel. All right, well, excellent. Thank you so much All for right, taking the time you. to talk with us today. Thanks for your time. For Mahalo Daily, I'm Veronica Belmont. I'll see you next time.